Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravind Jangir here, your electrical faculty and in this video I'm going to talk about the current and extension angle control. So this is the, the basic figure which I have drawn here that is related with the predictive type and what is the predictive type? So if I talk about the predictive type, it is a kind of the advanced uh, advancement uh, in the control system that is uh, kind of which is actually using the MATLAB and the simulation process. So it is a state space control system, a state space modeling of the control system, I can say that. It is actually using the linear and the non-linear system. So it is kind of the straightforward procedure for that. So I can say it is in this, there are the two blocks. Okay, and these are the gains. Here, this is summing up where the ID which is uh, actually fed and this is the ID ref for the reference purpose, it is given and then it is summed up to, uh, up to this. And here it is also a, we have the I margin. And at this, the block will be uh, block will be fed again, the output of these blocks will be fed to this summation and then will be a V will have the control voltage. So likewise, this will have this is a kind of the basic procedure for that. So I will talk about if I talk about the extinction angle controller, which we have seen in the last lecture. So extinction angle controller can be a predictive type, which is actually fed feedback type with the EPC control, having the equidistance pulse control. And if I talk about what will happen if, if we are using this type of then which is less prone to the commutation failure so if uh, because due to the overlapping we sometimes we uh, face the problem related with the commutations so commutation failure is actually reduced okay here by using this schemes or by using this system of operation and i can say also was used in the early hvdc projects in the earlier hvdc project uh, these were the main technological innovation at that time now, so if I talk about these points, that is the feedback control with the PFC type of equidistance pulse control overcomes the problems of associated with the IPC. So I can say that the, this equip, equidistance pulse control, what is the equidistance pulse control that we have discussed in the firing control schemes or firing angle control, we had the IPC and the, P, uh, IPC and the EPC. And that EPC, in that EPC, we have discussed the uh, three methods, and one of them is the PFC, pulse frequency control. So, if I talk about the, this system, so if we are using the feedback control along with this, the feedback control, then it will overcome the problem of associated with the IPC. What was the problem associated with the IPC? That was related with the harmonics, and uh, these harmonics were kind of the non characteristic harmonics. So I can say these are kind of the non-characteristic harmonics which were the problems related with the IPC. Now, sometimes it is seen that the feedback control of the gamma, that is the extinction angle, slower than the predictive type. So predictive type, I can say it is a more advanced as more advanced or a faster response it has. So sometimes we see mm, this thing. One of the predictive schemes. So if I talk that there are the so many predictive schemes and one of the predictive schemes is generally proposed by the Hingrani and about the finding pulse generation. This was related with the finding pulse generator because that is uh, because we have to produce the pulses and the pulse generator we, uh, uh, we were using. So finding pulse generator, it was related. So he has given this equation that is the integration min integration from minus pi plus delta okay and 2 omega tn ecj d omega t plus 2 xc into id which is ultimately equal to 0 this was given by the hangrani about the firing pulse generation so what are the different terms related with uh, you know the omega is uh, your frequency in the radian per second xc is your capacitor you can say the capacitor reactance id is your uh, current or dc current and this is the basic formula. So if I talk about the ECJ, the commutation voltage across the wall J, we are having the six types of uh, walls, or you can say the thyristors. If you are using the six pulse thyristor, 
so one of them it can be considered so let us say we have considered the wall number three then i will write ec3 likewise it has to be written there and then it will be integrated what is the tn that the instant of its firing when we are firing the wall number three that instant at that time let us suppose we have fired at the it let us suppose at the 200 degree okay so that will be a firing for that okay now Generally, the prediction of the firing angle is based on the equation. So, as we are firing the walls, so that that can also be predicted. And what is the prediction? There is given a relation, or you can say the equation. That is the beta j. That is the beta j. That is the angle of advancement. For j, it means it is uh, denoting a wall number, which wall we are using. Then gamma reference to the mu j. Gamma reference, it means the extinction angle reference which we have taken plus mu j, that is the overlap angle of the wall. So, this is the mu j, that is the overlapping angle of the wall at that time. So, all will be, they are the delay angles, and according to that, the relation is finalized. So, we can predict the firing angle for any wall which is to be fired in the further or you can say futuristic, which is uh, predicted based on the current knowledge. We should have the current knowledge for that of the commutation voltage and the DC current okay so commutation voltage and the DC current we have to know about them then we can predict using this formula now so feedback control of the gamma that is the extinction angle control and we are using the feedback control in schemes in this it is it's measured it's a measured value passes through the non-linear block as I have earlier said that we are using the predictive type. So it is kind of the straightforward procedure for your linear and the non-linear system. So if we are using a gamma or controlling the gamma in such a way, we are using the predictive type, then it will have the feedback system. So whatever the value will be resulted here, it passes through the non-linear block. Now, so if it is passes through the non-linear block, then the, there will be a two types of controlling schemes. It may be a faster, it may be a slower. So it is written here. The faster, it may be a chance of faster operation. It may be a chance of the slower, slower operation. If we as per the requirement, then the gamma which we have fed, it should be less than the gamma one, and a slower than the gamma is greater than the gamma two. Okay. So under the large dis uh, disturbance, so let us have the. We have the large disturbance, kind of large disturbance, I can say that the sudden dip in the AC voltage. If there is a sudden dip in the AC voltage, then I can say these are the large disturbance. And due to this, we generally apply the signals from the derivative of the voltage or the DC current. So we will find the derivative of that and we will uh, apply that signal. And which causes the delay angle to advance for the fast recovery from the commutation failure. So if there is a commutation failure, so there will be a fast response in the advance of that. So I hope up to this you have uh, understood about this lecture. So Tata bye bye and thank you.